What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Near Automata, and it is time to head back to the Resistance Camp. So we're just going to fast travel there. Get there nice and quick. I'm going to pop my drink here. Sorry, it's a Snapple, so you're going to hear the pop. Oh, maybe it wasn't that loud. All right. I don't think this is when the village or the, the. Why did you ask Pascal about A2? Huh? It's not recommended to interface with machines without consulting command. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Though I suppose such intense curiosity can be admirable in its own way. <laughs> All right, we got mail. Thanks, to be. Still, machines are the enemy. Don't forget it. Inbox to be jackass. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue, but I've got a fish I want to recommend to your units, or, or to be more specific, I want you to eat it so I can study how its oils affect your unit, you know, for science. Anywho, stop by if you get bored. We already had that. And we've already had the server capacity email. Okay. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. Yeah, yeah. No problems here. Copy that. I also need to inform you that the commander offers her personal praise for your recent achievements. As a direct result, we are currently considering boosting production of your model. Really? I'm happy to hear it. I couldn't have done it without your support, Operator. You're always so cool under fire, not to mention beautiful and... Flattery is unnecessary. Operator 210, out. I really meant it, though. All right, oh, Anemone. Oh, Your timing is impeccable. Our android forces currently have a carrier deployed in the Pacific Ocean. It should be back here to resupply before too long. The Resistance is assisting with the mission, so I'd like to ask you to run a little guard duty. Seriously? Dead serious. There's a stockpile of missiles down at the shoreline that needs to be loaded on the carrier. And with all the machine activity lately, we need to stay on our toes. Of course, if you're already working on something for Yorha, I don't mind if that takes priority. Anyway, thanks in advance. So this is where we lose 9S in the regular story. So I'm interested to see what happens here. It's right over here, isn't it? Maybe not. Um... Oh, it's right here. I knew it was really close to the resistance camp. actually happy it's uh i didn't think i'd have much time to record this week but i'm actually getting some time right now and then i thought well i mean this week as in until friday um because i have to obviously in order to do these i have to pre-record them in advance some of them in advance at least and uh I, I was thinking i would be cutting it a little bit close but it actually turned out to be all right um i have a huge loaded days on Friday and Saturday it's Friday night ish and then Saturday to record so shouldn't be an issue on those days to get all caught up and then Sunday I'm going out of town ooh cutscene finish my thoughts after this these get me so excited cause there's something new if it would load why must we read all these books, brother? Oh, we've seen this. Knowledge expands horizons and enriches existence. But can't we just transfer all this data over instantly? Into your head, perhaps, but not to your heart. <sighs> I guess. Hmm. Hey, so... Yes? My name? Eve? This book says it's a woman's name. Shouldn't we be called Cain and Abel or something instead? Humans wouldn't change names so easily. Besides, you should be proud of the name Eve. Huh. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm fine with it. Glad to hear it. Um... Is there something else? After we're done reading, can we go out and play? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. All right. 
but only after we're finished. You mean it? Then I'm gonna try extra hard to finish this. Extra, extra hard. You do that. Alright, so like I was saying, going out of town on Sunday and then I don't know my work schedule for next week so I can't exactly plan out that far, but uh, I'm hoping this Friday and this Saturday, definitely Saturday, to get a ton of bulk recording and then hopefully maybe Sunday before I head out of town I can set everything to upload. Then when I get home the on Sunday, I've only gone one day. Out in the last war. Looks like the whole city is starting to sink as a result. But hopefully I can get everything good to go. I want to get to a point where I have, like, a, um, a few, like, five or six, seven days preset to upload. Target or not upload to... Is that what we need to protect? Let's take them out already so I can be home in time for dinner and a bath. Androids don't need to bathe. As long as you perform regular cleaning and maintenance, bathing is unnecessary. Yeah, but come on, 2B. It's still... That's not the guy I wanted to hack, but okay. Wanted to hack the big guy here. Okay, this looks a little difficult. Back and forth. Ooh, that was a little difficult. Ow, I just got kicked. Like I grabbed the gill. Gotta grab it. Hold on, man. I'm gonna loot this first. You just run around. Now I'll deal with you. Alright. Alright. Get down. Give me my health back. I forgot about this guy. Yeah, let's kill these little guys first. Do your rolling attack. There you go. Hold on, I gotta go get the money. We gotta get the money and the item. Machine arm, broken battery. Might as well hack him, I guess. There we go. Not too bad of a hack, and that was worth a lot of experience. And it's I dead. I think that's the last of the machines. 2B, 9S, come in. Commander? Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was set to resupply has come under attack. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. I've asked all Yorha troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. I'm sending flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. You see? Total slave driver. Whoopsh. If she didn't order others around, what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. If you say so. All right, here we go. Back in the flight units. I really want to complete this because I want to see what's next. Because obviously there's more after this. Um, I'm wondering where we jump to in the story or if we just get like a brand new section because he wasn't a part of the... He wasn't a part of the initial story. Cause this is this is where he disappears and it's 
the end of him for a while. These things are not worth very much experience. Like, I'm not even seeing the bar move at all. Yeah, like, killing a bulk of these, like, ten of these guys is worth, like, 100 XP. I guess they're easy, so it makes sense, but... Still feels like a minimal amount of experience. the big dude? The Goliath Flyer isn't a hard enemy. I want the idiot that you gotta shoot his back to... I gotta get off the side. Your rockets are weak! I don't even think it's touched me yet. Move off to the side. Back to the middle. And the Goliath Flyer is dead. Slight work. Unit destroyed. Reverting back to area recon Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? What on... If it's that big, we should be able to see it. It's under the ocean. Well, that's new. <laughs> It's freaking huge. Oh shit, I thought it was still a cutscene. I forgot that. <laughs> oh boy, that was almost terrible. Crap, it's blocking close range attacks with the MP blasts. We've got to find another way to damage it. It's back. Operator 210 to 9S. Command has decided to stage a direct satellite laser strike on the hostel. We need you to destroy the enemy EMP generator so we can lock onto the target. EMP generator? Sending the coordinates to your map now. EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Proposal. Destroy the generator quickly. Wow, thanks. That's a really helpful tip. Destroy it quickly. I 
I truly don't get why they have these little guys here. Like, no one's dying to them. Enemy data obtained from command. Go ahead. The only known record of this machine life form is a lone sighting 320 years ago. Upon reaching land, the unit unleashed a devastating electromagnetic wave attack. All resistance fighters in the vicinity were annihilated. So basically, if this thing reaches land, we're screwed. Affirmative. About to level up to 33. Maybe after this batch I'll level up to 33. Uh, it's close. Two down. That's three down. And that's the generator down right there. There we go, level 33. Confirmed elimination of electromagnetic interference. Stand by for incoming satellite laser strike. Oh, come on! It's got an electromagnetic barrier over its whole body? <laughs> Having trouble over there? Are you Yorha? Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12th Sea Defense HQ. I'm the commanding officer, 4B. Don't worry, we'll take it from here. Will you now? 2B, let's lead this area to the reinforcements. I have an idea. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. We've got mortars lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close-range mortar fire. Got it. I'll help aim. Um... What? What? Well, that's different. <laughs> this thing's armor is too thick. We need more firepower. 2B, let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh, right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. What on earth? There we go. There we go. so weird that you gotta hack I don't know if you're hacking her or the machine all right now we got to destroy the things on its back This is bad. Are you all right, Tubi? That enormous machine is an ancient weapon. It was designed to help annihilate the androids. But it wound up going out of control. I was part 
part of the machine's network when it happened, so I remember it. The moment it reached land, it went berserk and began attacking everything in sight. No one could figure out how to stop it. We eventually marooned it deep in the ocean, but it seems to be searching for a way back. Huh. Hey, 2B. I think I have another idea. You keep that thing right where it is, okay? What? Please, 2B. This is gonna work. Here we go. I get to do something new. Let's do it. I was gonna say let's go, and then I started with the letter D, and then I didn't know what I was saying. So let's do it. <laughs> 2B, I'm going to see if we can use those missiles back on the shore. But I need you to destroy the EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. On. Give me all that XP. All that 250 XP. We have exactly 73,000 experience. It's kind of cool. Honestly, don't think they can damage me fast enough to kill me. Like, I just think I kill them too fast. Now, these things, I don't know how much damage those do, so maybe they could have killed me, but... Okay, okay, I see you. You do a little more damage. Activate missile controls. Prepare to launch. Missile controls engaged. Launch ability confirmed. Fire! Well, this is pretty sick. I didn't think this would be so hard to control. Alert. Obstacle ahead. A collision at this speed is not recommended. Well aware, thank you. I'm aiming for its mouth. I'm not sure why they gave you the ability to control that, because it really doesn't do anything for you. <laughs> Signal lost. Organize a search and rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once. To be nine S. Don't die on me. The child held sway over enormous strength. But sadly, he was also a little bit broken. He spent his long days hurting those around him. He tried his best to be good and kind. But despite his efforts, things never seemed to turn out. They told him he was unwanted. They abandoned him in the deep, dark ocean. And from the cold at the bottom of the sea, he cried out, Mother! 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 But his voice never reached his mother. This is Tactical Support Unit, Pod 042, assigned to 2B. This is Tactical Support Unit, Pod 153, assigned to 9S. We pods often participate in the same battles. Exchanging our situational data would theoretically allow us to plan combat strategies in a more efficient manner. Proposal. 
Data should be transferred regularly between pod 042 and pod 153. Analysis. This idea is sound. Proposal accepted. Records will be organized in time for the next situational exchange. My chair is extra squeaky today. Oh good. I find myself in a bizarre memory storage area stretching as far as I can see. It's a maze, a labyrinth, a massive interconnecting network. I've never seen anything like it. it. Must have been created by the machines. So then, what am I doing here? I am 9S, that's all I can remember. Large portions of my memory have been destroyed. What if I forget everything? My memories, myself, my... Okay, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Just follow the emergency manual and execute the memory recovery program. The recovery program begins to fill in the blanks in my memory. They drift back like missing letters filling out a word. The Bunker, 2B's plan, a colossal machine life form, the last resort missile strike. Preservation mode was activated at the moment of the blast. It halted most of the safeties the network had in place. Wait, it must have been the EMP blast. It took a while, but the recovery program managed to restore most of my memory functions. However, I still can't establish a link to my body. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do but examine the surrounding memory space. Looks like the machines gathered and stored a lot of info in here. It all seems pretty random at first, but on closer inspection, I learned how it's all connected. There are a variety of entries, such as data on human history and philosophy, but what's really strange are the records of machines stored next to those. And those politics... Category in the politics category are records of the machine's own governmental endeavors. They tried all sorts of things absolute monarchies, republics, democracies, and that wasn't all. They also engaged in other scholarly, scholarly pursuits such as philosophy, mathematics, science, and social criticism. It's like the network was copying every possible human behavior and discipline. Almost as if. Almost as if they were trying to be human. I don't know if there's a right way to go, but uh, we're just going around. Can't really call it an episode in here. <laughs> I dive deeper into the records. I can find no indication of the machines creating new cultures or values. They only imitate human behavior. The strange thing is, is if a unit fails, it fails in exactly the same way the next time. For example, if a machine forms a dictatorship that eventually collapses, it won't try a new type of government, it just forms a new dictatorship. Or if it plants crops and they die, it just tries the same thing again, and again, and again, and again. They keep performing the same behavior. They don't ever learn. When it comes to combat, the machines show overwhelming adaptive behavior and evolutionary speed. So why do they insist on imitating humanity? And more specifically, why do they imitate their failures? It's almost as if the subject is failure itself. I sense change in the data, some kind of movement. I hone my perception and hold my breath. I I hear something, a distant voice. A I and now I and all androids. There's something there, something clearly intelligent. Well, this is super interesting, if nothing else. Gives us a lot of kind of backstory. I announced all androids. The words shimmer into focus. The voice grows clear in my mind. It is Adam, a machine made in the image of a man. We machine lifeforms have evolved, he says. We made war, learned, grew, and thus we gained a new consciousness. Indeed, it is as if a new form of existence has been born. Lies, nothing but lies from mere machines. Adam laughs, and yet you androids claim to be alive. How very odd. You are puppets who lack even your own free will. No, you're wrong. His words flow through me as they were poured into my ear. How am I wrong, boy? I'm were... Perhaps you will have a will after all, he chuckles. Perhaps you have desires. Now you see, boy, the true meaning of life is hatred. You're wrong. A vile hatred slumbers in the depths of your heart. You're wrong. The more you try to hide, the more that darkness grows. Wrong. 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 Wrong.
messages, damn it. We were made to protect mankind. We're not the same as you machines. How many of these are there? I'm getting tired of doing a monologue here. All who live are slaves to desire. Such internal appetites are what give our lives meaning. Some seek beauty, others serenity. For me, hatred is the I'm not like that. Haha, <laughs> oh yes you are. You do not own you do not trust anything. You want to destroy everything. You have lost hope in everything. You want to obtain everything. You want to be loved by all. You're thinking about how much you want to get down and dirty with 2B, aren't you? Reality stained by lies. Stop it. Stop it. Hatred pouring into you. You're wrong, damn it. Overflowing desire. I'm, I'm not like you. Your true self. We're not the same. Stop it. It's not my fault, okay? Damn it, I, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Help, help me, help me. I can't read all those. It's the amount of time it gave me. Help me. Help me. Each of the machines treated their treasures with great care. One treasured family above all else. Another treasured its older sibling. Another treasured its own beauty. But one more machine treasured something unique above all else. Hate. Is this... death? <laughs> Say good night, Adam. So cool. Nine S. All right, I'm not exactly sure where it's taking us now. Somewhere new, this is new. Oh my gosh, my phone is being my phone. I need to get a new phone. It's like, it's like on its own planet now of just like, you know, let's start or let's, uh, Proposal. you know. Engage memory core diagnostics. Yeah, yeah. A single reply is sufficient for acknowledgement. Fine. Ah, uh, so memory system. I don't know what my phone does sometimes. It's like extra special. It just like starts doing stuff on its own. I think it's just so much use in the last two years on it. It's just like, yeah. Memory core diagnostics complete. No issues detected. Good. Proposal. Engage visual sensor diagnostics. You got it. It just, like, pretty much does whatever the heck it wants at this point. Like, Siri is super sensitive on it. I don't get it. Like, I... Visual sensor like... diagnostics complete. No issues detected. All checks complete. <sighs> Took long enough. Don't you think it's overkill to perform a full data overhaul? Unit 9S was seized by the enemy and placed in a non-controlled state for an extended period of time. There is a high probability of corruption by an enemy logic virus. All right, all right. Cram it. Anyway, I just got to sync up with the bunker server and then I'm out of here, right? But, like, 
I, I have my phone, so I'm hitting the button. But even when I say seriously, it brings up Siri. You're like, serious, huh? serious, or what whatever. Unknown. Halt the data sync. Alert. Data synchronization is mandatory for all your high units. Yeah, I know that, but we just got some kind of weird noise. Halt the data sync for 2B as well. Affirmative. Let's figure out where that noise came from. Just to be sure, you know. Open a port to the server. Hmm. No time to examine everything. Better stick to the main data nodes. Well, this is weird. But yeah, Detective. just like... Access log to Council of Humanity's lunar server. Shipping records. What's a barrier doing here? Hmm. Looks like records for supplies shipped to the moon. Strange. There were a ton of empty containers. That's weird. Why would they do that? Dead people? I don't know. They gotta put dead people somewhere? That's my best guess. I don't have any other guess to that. Why they're shipping containers. Detected. Your high unit storage records. Okay, so 2B, there's 9S, 1S, 8H, 24S, 2D, 1B, 2H, 1B, 2H, lost. Hmm. What's the point of all this heavy security? All the black box data has been deleted, but it looks like everything else is here. Huh? A new port just opened. Detected. Council of Humanity and Project Yorha Records Index. Alert. We are not authorized to access this data. Man, this stuff is all wrong. I need to check this out, too. An attack barrier? Really? Why the heck would they install one of those in this server? Alright, note that these documents are classified level S confidential and are not to be disclosed to any persons affiliated with Yora aside from the commander. Index, Project Yora Outline, Yora Forces, Yora Unit Combat System, Bunker Administration, Chain of Command, Council of Humanity Development Department, Backdoor, Support Units, Black Box, Resistance Communications Network. Permission is to be received from the designated parties responsible for each entry prior to viewing. Let's see... Looks like info about how the Council of Humanity was formed as part of Project Yorha. Wait, isn't that backwards? After a long period of battles and adventures, the prophet spoke. Oh, grant me the mercy of the land. Oh, grant me the joy of the heavens. Release me from my yoke of iron. Thus shall our souls be. What was that? Crap! Did they find me? Negative. Emergency backup request from 2B. Close the server connection and activate my body. Affirmative. Ah, 9S. Operator? What happened? We recently detected large numbers of machine life forms throughout the factory area. We received a support request from 2B soon thereafter, but have been unable to respond due to poor reception. All right, I'll try to gain access from the main terminal. The giant terminal to support 2B. Okay, I think this is a good place to stop this episode. Use I don't know. The server administration room requested. 
depending on how long, uh, depending on what this episode, the last ever, I don't even know what how to explain this. How, depending on how we, I may have split split the episode that I just recorded into two parts. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet, but it may have gotten split into two parts. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.